Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about you know a current year, previous year, you know year over year, or YTD and MTD. So all of you who are new to Tableau or who are preparing, they all get confused how to calculate this. What is the time period we need to con uh, consider in this? So in this video, we are going to answer all of this and let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So the first thing is, you know, current year sales. So the often question we get confused is like in current year sales, you know, what is the time period we need to consider? So once, you know, uh, we'll try to understand this theoretically so that in future, whenever you get this question, you can, you know, uh, independently build a logic. That is the intention. Okay. So we can get something like this current year sales in interview, or you can get, you know, current month sales in interview or current week sales in interview. All these are probabilities. Okay. It can be your interview scenario or it can also be your you know, real time use case or a scenario where you have to build it in your project. Now, how will you find out current year sales means the current year that you are working in. Like say, according to us, like, you know, if I'm trying to record this video in 2025, what is my present period? My current year is 2025. So I'm considering that year as my current year. So all current year, like say we are in August, right? So as of now, we are in, uh, sorry, we are like almost in August about to start. So all the sales that has happened in the current year is my current year sales. Okay, so it can have your complete year, it can have your incomplete year, that is up to the data that we have, but we need to consider the entire data, which means from Jan to December, we need to consider in calculation during current year sales. I hope it, you know, it gave you some clarity. Now, how will you calculate? Suppose if we are calculating with respect to the current year, then we can use a today function. So what is today function will give? It will give us a today's date, right? We all know. So from this date, we can get current year. We can get current month as well. Current week, what you want, whatever you want, you can get it from this. So this is based on the latest data set, right? But assume you don't want to follow this today function. You want to go with the data that you have and you want to consider whatever the max year is there as your current year. Then what will you do? First, you will write one calculation where you find out max of your year. Okay, like this, you will try to find out and basing on that, you will decide your current year sales okay something like this you need to do okay i hope you are clear till here so let us do it practically okay i am going to tableau and suppose uh, if i try to bring my order date into my view i have 25 as my latest year or the maximum year two probabilities right that we discussed one we can do it using today function that we all have learned multiple times right so we can use today function and we can calculate year of today what this will give us it will give us 25 right so i'll just write it as current year okay and i'll try to just bring this into my view i'll convert this into dimension so that you don't get confused and drop it we are getting 25 max here we are getting why because we are using based on today function but you don't want to do that you can also do it using lod Okay, so I'll write it as uh, maybe CY using LOD. So how will you do simple writer LOD max of year of order date? So whatever the max date is there, basing on, sorry, whatever the date is there in your database. So from that, I'm taking max of year. So let us see what this will be. This will give us. I'm just trying to again convert this into dimension and again pull this also into. So this is also giving us 25. Two methods of writing, right? Either you can use simple, you know, today function to calculate. Okay, one method. 
second method you can also use lod function to calculate the max date and basing on which we can build our logic now i want to build my sales how will i do so simple i can write a calculation write this current year sales what will i do if my year of order date is equal to what year of today simple then give me sales okay and ending it i'm simple this is how we can do it. So this is your current year sales. Now, if I try to bring this into my view, this is your current year sales. You are getting only for 25C. But otherwise, what you can also use LOD function like we have done. So what we'll do, CY uh, LOD sale. How will you do same logic if year of order date is equal to what will we do uh, maybe year of say same i am trying to write where we have found the year so this calculation that we have created i am using that in the view is equal then give me sales and amend it so this this way also we can write some error is there Okay, some calculation error, syntax error is called, <clears throat> okay, year of order date is equal to year of this, then give me sales. This way also you can do it technically. So we can write year of order date is equal to this calculation that we have created and simply click on okay. And when I bring it into view, it will give me current year sales. So these are the methods that using which we can create current year sales. Okay. Now same calculation we can extend and find our previous year sales simple. Okay. How will you do previous year sales if we want simple to the year calculation that you are doing just you need to do year minus one. Okay. Just find out year minus one. Okay. So here if you go in current year sales if I try to edit. Okay. So year of order date is what year of today which means this is our current year right so minus one i am doing here which means what it should go back to 24 now it is going back to this okay this is how we can do so we are you know changing or updating this date our base date today date not this date right so this is our reference date so i am changing that okay same to our calculation that we have created using lod also we can do so where is that calculation C by LOD? Okay, edit it. And here, okay, not this one. Just do it minus one, that's it here. So 25 minus one, you'll get 24 same thing you're getting so this way also you can solve okay again i am not adding any else part you want else you can add it else here else zero or whatever you want you can do that so that you get some value here okay so that is how you find current year sales or previous year sales and once you do that if at all you want to find out year over year growth what will you do current year sales minus previous year sales divided by previous year into 100 simple this is what we do calculation to find out okay so that's about your current year sales and your previous year sales two methods we have discussed same like if you want current month sales what will you do we just need to add an extra logic to this okay so what i'm doing is i'm just splitting it and maybe month i will write it to understand in which month we are Okay, now let us remove all of this so that we can again build it. Okay, so what is that we have here if you observe? Okay, so for each year we have got some sales. Now here we, are, we want sales per current month, which means what one extra condition that we want to add. So current year equal to year and month equal to month that's it so here you will add month condition to our logic that's it okay so what we will do we will just change it okay so current year also i'm removing so this logic i will write is equal to this 
ओके एंड आई एम राइटिंग एंड मंथ ऑफ ऑर्डर डेट इज इक्वल टू मंथ ऑफ टुडे विच मीन्स वॉट वी आर लिमिटिंग दैट टू करंट इयर एंड वी आर ऑल्सो लिमिटिंग इट टू करंट मंथ सो दिस विल लिमिट to current year and this will limit to current month so once that is done you can simply click on apply and when you try to bring that into view it should ideally bring you sales for your current month what is our current month july it is giving us for that okay like that so you want previous month again you can go back and do minus 1 to that you will get that and you can find out you know month over month sales okay year over year means what you are doing year minus 1 right which means previous year sales you are comparing month over month means what again your current month sales and your previous month sales understanding the concept okay so do like and you know, subscribe if you are you know following what i'm trying to explain you that is how you build a logic same thing if at all you want at week level maybe you can add this at a week level and try to understand how it is behaving so always try to create a view in tabular way uh, while you know writing your logic so that you can clearly validate how you are getting values after that you know however you want to view you can build so this is the most easiest and most scalable approach okay so same thing you can use it for your week over week sales okay all you need is an extra condition and week is equal to week simple okay that is what you need to do here okay i hope it is clear till here you know current year sales previous year sales month over month and week over week okay now what is ytd here so current year concept we understood okay ytd is what year till date so in current year sales we are taking entire year or the complete year whereas year till date means only till the completion of this date that is your year till date sales okay so year till date like say we are in july so from jan to Ju uh, july whatever the sales that we have is our ytd sales simple which means what again we need to write calculation like current year is equal to e this and it should be less than today simple so that is when that logic will get satisfied okay so let us try to build that okay so same logic is scalable to month till date means means what month uh, till date sales if at all i want to find out all the sales in my current month from 1 to 30 till wherever we are that is our month till date sales year till date means 1 to july 30 we will get month to month till date means 1 to 30 we will get current month sales we are calculating okay that is your month till date how will we write here calculation let us try to build it okay i'm removing it and uh, first we need to get sales right so first let us build the logic so i'm writing it as ytd okay so what is the first thing if year of order date is equal to year of today okay then uh, just i'm writing it as true for now okay uh, or we'll write then sales and simple okay for now okay we'll write one by one okay and i'm trying to bring this into my view so what is it doing it is bringing the sales for my current year you see because in my database i have got sales till december it is giving it but where are we as of now or as of today we are in july only so which means i need all the sales till july only not beyond that so i will write another condition here okay and order date is less than today simple you want write equal to you can write which will include today's date you got sales still like this so there are multiple ways using which you can approach this problem and find out ytd okay but the concept is this you know month till date you want to find out all the year but it should be less than today 
okay so this is your month uh, year till date month till date how will you find out so to understand that what i am doing is i am trying to expand this uh, to a date level okay now here we are in july right maybe 2025 july we are okay so i'm going to july we don't need all of this right we don't need all of this right because we are in only july so we need only that part july sales only we need so again that too from where july 1 to 30 we need to get we don't want this also how will you calculate that only one extra condition we will write year of today is equal to today and month of order date is equal to month of today like this we can write and then we can build now if i go here you see june no data may nothing march nothing nothing everything is blank here only what is the value you are getting that to only for july you are getting that to till 30 august also no values that is how you can write okay so that is how you can build a logic and you can scale it you same like this ytd you can write month till date you can write week till date you can write week week means what current week so where is your week starting and where is your week ending suppose my week is starting on monday i want to get sales till today monday tuesday and wednesday three days of sales you will get like that you need to build and scale okay i hope this gave you clarity on how to write logic for current year previous year current month or previous month you know ytd or mtd or wtd all of these are very important in terms of implementation in terms of interview scenarios I hope you will be able to build it you know, from now. If you like this video, don't forget to share it across your friends. And you know, don't forget to give your valuable comments in the feedback section. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.